This is a study of uh, male, age 61 years in the, and you are seeing the urinary bladder in terms of the section in which I am showing you these globular areas which are ecogenic, non-shadowing and uh, when I move the probe a bit back posteriorly or quarterly, this becomes a part of the prostate. As you can see, you will be, it will be clear to you now. You see, this is the prostate, slightly maneuvering the probe. This is the prostate now. Okay, now moving the probe spherically a bit towards the patient's head, I can see it correlating with the prostate in transfer section. Now this is the prostate, prostatic substance and this area irregular, ecogenic, inhomogeneous is the enlarged median row which is indenting into the urinary bladder wall. This is the enlarged median row and it is it measures 26 by 36 millimeters. Now this is the transfer section. Now let's see in the uh, longitudinal section. Now you see it becomes a part of the prostate in longitudinal section. This is the main uh, bulk of the prosthetic substance which is in the eye though. And this is the median loop, you know, this area, ecogenic, which is the enlarged median loop, indenting into the urinary bladder wall. And uh, maneuvering the probe shows you another. Now this is another, another little globular area, ecogenic. Uh, this is a, another ecogenic area. This, this, is, this is in fact the, uh, the parts of the enlarged median lobe of the prostate. This is the prostate. Now this, this edge is that of the main prostatic substance. Whereas these are the enlarged median lobe median lobe, this is the enlarged median lobe of the prostate in the longitudinal se section in lending into the wall of the urinary bladder. So this is a case of uh, prostatic hypertrophy, bearing benign, prostatic hypertrophy, no calcification is seen, no focalion is seen within this uh, large prostate. this we go for the we do see the post maturation residual volume ask the patient to maturate and uh, then see the residual volume so this is a case of prostatic hypertrophy possible benign with a large median lobe intending into the wall of the urinary bladder